Hey there, Planet Sewers. It's Mathlete again. I'm here with my Indian themed habitat. It's also a zoo entrance. It's up on my Steam Workshop. I redid this blueprint a few times. Every single time when I go to place it, the walls right there around the habitat gate are always missing. So when you put this in, you will have to find the sandstone brick walls and place those two pieces in and then copy over the detailing on the wall so that everything is uniform. The simple way to do that is to use Control X and slide it over or you can just duplicate the wall that way I did and slide the one over, delete that piece and put in the doorway over the gate. If you like, you can select the gate, scoot it around, trying to get it more perfect in there. The inspiration for this build was Indian rhinoceroses, and so I decided to go for the Indian theme. I also really enjoy building habitats right as you walk in the zoo, and including the zoo entrances with the spawners and the ticket entry gates. It has everything guests could possibly want as they come into the zoo. It has shops as well. I have a staff facility hidden inside there. So if you do put something in other than the Indian rhinoceros, you may want to check that staff room. I put it a little too close to the spawners. So it is full of plants on the inside to get the 100% scenery rating to bring down the negative radius that it has so guests aren't complaining about staff facilities as soon as they walk in the zoo. In case you're wondering where those hidden plants are when you set up the zoo. When I originally built this, I struggled really hard with pathing. However, when I put this down as a blueprint, I found the pathing to be very simple. I had hardly any struggles with it. So I just used select grid mode, as you can see here, and went around, added all my paths. And there is that hidden staff room right there to the right, which is why it wasn't letting me put that path in. Unfortunately, the curves are a little hard to hide if it won't fit in perfectly since we're elevated. I wish the game didn't make the curves be there when paths are elevated. Once all the grid pathing is in, I like to go around and connect everything, even though you don't have to for shops. It is close enough to the curb, they will still interact with the building. I still like to connect them if I can. On this section, you can either do the grid pathing, or you can just use an 8 meter wide path straight through there. I decided to go for grid instead of getting a perfectly straight path and then coming out with an 8 meter path down to the ground and once we get that path in we need to go and make sure that we're connected to the spawners and while we're doing that what are your favorite things to build? let me know in the comments below do you like to build habitats the best? entrances? shopping centers? Aside for combining the habitat and the entrance for me, my favorite thing to build are the aquatic animal habitats. And if you'll notice, I do have two otter habitats. One's just a regular otter habitat, and the other is an otter entrance habitat, which I will be doing a video on my entrance habitat as well. It has a swim through tunnel, so that will be coming soon. And there was a preview of my staff room full of plants. So if you were looking for it, there it is taking a look around making sure I have everything connected so we're going to skip my connections to the zoo and out to my utilities and go ahead and get our Indian rhinoceros on the way I always like to do pairs breeding pairs I know that it does get hard to manage I find that when I'm building when I have bigger zoos managing all the animals can be quite overwhelming sometimes I will turn contraceptions on so that I don't have to deal with that. 
from our rhinoceroses. As with any habitat, I always check, make sure everything's set up the way they like it. Sometimes things get changed, like the water's not in, so I need to add that. And when I do that, it does affect some of my terrain. So I need to go through, make sure they're happy with their terrain. Go through and also make sure they're happy with the plants that are in the habitat. Some people don't pay as much mind to that. I like to have mine as happy as possible. Although I'm a little cheap when I'm in franchise mode, I don't always give them the best grade of food. I feel like everything else makes up for it. And it looks like we have everything set up and about ready to do a walkthrough tour and get a guest view of our habitat. I love that look down into their little sleeping shelter area from above. They do use it quite often in my zoo and the guests are always super excited to stand and look at them from above. And here we are from the guest level view. We're going to go up and into our habitat from the zoo side. And I'm looking to see if the rhinoceros can be seen from over here. I don't see any. Go look at the other side. Looks like we have some guests that are stuck in the grid path. Have to go back and delete that one and put a new one in. Hopefully it'll free them and no one else will get stuck. No rhinoceros there. Let's keep going. Looks like they're holding trash in their hands. So maybe I don't have enough trash cans. Even though I know there's four around the glass aerial viewing of their sleeping area. And let's see if there's one in there. I don't see him in there right now. Oh, there's one way in the back. I always enjoy walking around at the guest level. A few times I have found comically large items that look to scale from far away. And then when you get close, they don't. And here you have a view from the entrance. And if you don't like the color of the ATMs, you can always go and change those too. Probably should change them to fit the theme of the sandstone and the yellow pillars. And let's go see if we can find a rhinoceros now. Still don't see one down there. Oh, he's in the glare. I'm trying to get a view of him. And he walked off. So let's go over here. Let's see if it's over there. There he is. Just like in real life, they're not always very cooperative in where they are and getting good views of them. But with this habitat, you will get a good view of them if you just wait a moment. And I really enjoy that backdrop, temple style. Get a screenshot of that. All people walking by. Let me know what you think of the habitat entrance. Thank you so much for watching my video on this habitat. Check out my workshop playlist for more things that I have available in the workshop. Hope you have a great day and may the RNG odds be ever in your favor.